long distance relationships suck but it can work Kit and I are living proof that it can work. Before marriage, before moving in, we dated for nine and a half years and we're in a long distance relationship. So today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how we made it work. And if you are in a long distance relationship, hopefully sharing my story will help you in some way, shape or form. I'm Bachia and welcome to my channel. Yes, you heard that right. Kit and I were in a long distance relationship for nine and a half years. Fun fact, we've actually been living together less than we've been in a long distance relationship, which seems so long ago, but I remember it like it was yesterday. And those years oh, were rough. They no let's not say rough they were really challenging because with us being so young i'm just like blown away how we made it work because <laughs> it's like the technology we have today we didn't have it so many years ago so i do feel like with the advancement of technology now being in a long distance relationship um is a tad bit easier but still you know not ideal. A little history about me and Kit. I'm from Georgia and he is from Alabama. The night that we met, no clue that he wasn't from Georgia, but I gave him my number and years later, here we are now, happily married with two fur kids. One thing that Kit and I made sure we did in the years of dating long distance, we saw each other once a month. And I have to give a lot of credit to my husband for this because he did most of the visiting. We'd pick a weekend where neither of us were busy with our family or friends and he'd come up, hang out, we'd go to the park, we'd go to the movies, we'd have lunch and dinner and just really be together now once i got older and had my own car and was brave enough to drive then i would visit him but in all honesty like he did the majority of the visiting like he was like 90 percent him and 10 percent me but the longest we went without seeing each other were 90 days because we were both being super stubborn about whose turn it was to visit who like he was getting really tired of always visiting me i didn't want to drive down like but let's not digress <laughs> that's a whole nother story of or that's a little yeah that's like a whole nother story about me and kit and our time of um not being on the same page like i said those visits those weekends were everything and if he didn't visit me every single month or he didn't visit me as often as he did i don't think we would have been together because i think it just would have been too hard on both of us not seeing each other because when we were dating long distance we didn't have this whole video chat we had flip phones and t9 texting which leads me to the second thing that we did we scheduled our phone conversations i know that sounds super unromantic but when you're in a long distance relationship different states different time zones you have to set time to be present kit and i we were living our own lives he'd work go out his friends i'd work go out my friends we had to make us talking a priority so and i remember this clear as day every sunday at 9 p.m we would talk on the phone i mentioned earlier with the advancement of technology it has made dating someone long distance a tad easier because now you can virtual chat which is huge because you can do anything virtually you can have dinner you can go on a date you can watch a tv show if kid and i had to be separated for a period of time because i'm off working and he couldn't travel with me thankfully there is video chat but i wouldn't do like anything you know what i'm saying like i would be there with him like i want to give him my full attention and just be present and that's something that i'm really big on in general is being present again we are digressing so let's go back to you know making it work the real secret to making a long distance relationship work is commitment that is huge kit has shown me his level of commitment time and time again the man drove through rainstorms and snow just to hang out with me like who does that you know <laughs> 
a person who is committed to making a long distance relationship work. That is who does that. If and when you are in a long distance relationship, don't overlook the small things like sending an I'm thinking about you text or a gift of appreciation. Those are all acts of commitment. For anyone who is in a long distance relationship right now in this moment, just know that all relationships have their own challenges. And if you are feeling loved and that you are a priority, then let the distance just be a factor. Because two people living in the same state, same time zone, that doesn't guarantee that both of them are feeling loved or that they are a priority. I held on to my guy for almost 10 years. And if we had to go through all of that, scheduling conversations, visiting once a month, almost not seeing each other every single month, just to get to where we are now, totally worth it. I know that being in a long distance relationship sucks and it's not easy. And with everything that's going on in the world right now, you may not be able to see each other at least once a month. But the one thing that you can do right now is schedule your phone conversations. Again, I know it's unromantic, but it will make the world of a difference when you two both set a time to where there are zero distractions and where you guys can just be together. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and for watching this video. Again, I'm Pachia. I hope you have a wonderful day and a beautiful week.